Welcome back to my channel everyone. In today's video, I am going to be pushing the limits of this new product that I received. Let's get to it. So the first thing we want to do is actually make something to test this product on. So I'm just mixing up some resincrete here. If you don't know what resincrete is, it is an eco resin and I love using it and I'm going to link everything along with the discount codes in the description below. And I haven't added any colorant to this yet. I'm just going with the natural white color of the resincrete and I'm going to be pouring them into these oval bowl type molds which i absolutely love by the way so yeah that's the plan and what i did do on the side before starting this is i spray painted some crushed glass i mean it was kind of like a yellow glass and i wasn't very keen on the color so i just spray painted it gold and i'm putting some of this into the mold just randomly in a couple of corners you know i'm not being precise with it i just want these to have like a little bit of terrazzo sparkly crack effect in the bowls but we'll see how these turn out so that's the plan i'm doing that for both and then i'm just gonna go over and pour my resin cream what i do like to do before the resin cream sets is add in my logo that way it kind of cures into the material so so that's what I like to do and I'm going to leave them to cure and we will be back for the unmolding. One hour later. So it's been about 40 minutes to an hour and I'm ready to unmold these. There's nothing overly exciting about this just yet but do wait. I assure you we're doing some fun things so bear with me while we do this. And I also poured another bowl type thing same way but just plain without any crushed glass and that is what that is on the right side because i'm going to do kind of two experiments with this product okay so now that we have everything molded and ready i can show you what we're testing today so we are testing out this seal and shine kit from boob and nicole or nicole molds and basically when they asked me they'd like to send me this to try out because it's a new product i was thrilled because honestly, I have been looking for a good sealer for quite some time now. So when I saw it, I was like, yes, please. And it's here. I love their packaging. I have to say, I absolutely love it. What you just saw me open was like the little toolkit. So it had a silicon cup and a brush and a sponge application thingy. And this is the kit with the sealant. So it has a little scoop for the mica powders. That's the sealant and it comes with four mica powders. And I think they also have a pack of eight mica powders and a bigger bottle of sealant. But once again, I'm going to link everything in the description below. Now, this is my first time using this product, so I don't know how it's going to go. I'm just going through the instructions. It seems pretty simple, to be honest. So if you just want to seal something, seal an eco resin, all you do is literally shake the bottle quite well and then just literally apply it onto the surface using the brush or the sponge tool so that seems quite simple to me um, and yeah so that's what i'm going to do i am starting with this white ball and i'm sealing the inside at first and then i'm just going to go around and seal the entire thing a few moments later okay so i'm going to leave that aside to set now before I move on to my big balls, I wanted to test it on something smaller and I have these two trays which are not okay, like are rubbish and they're literally scrap and I save them just to be able to do something on top of them at some point, you know, because I can still put a resin on them and, you know, do all sorts. So I thought I'm going to test this sealer with the mic mica powders into it and see if I can cover this tacky finish that I have on here. Now, let me tell you as a disclaimer, Nicole Mould do recommend that the mica powders are recommended to be used on a light or white surface to get the full coverage but like I said I am literally testing the boundaries and kind of pushing them so I am going ahead with a light pink mica powder mixed in with the sealer as per the directions and we are going to attempt to cover this tray which is dark in color so we'll see how that goes so that's me applying it on now the consistency is kind of like Elmer's glue I want to say so once I've applied the first coat, this is what they're looking like. I'm actually not mad at it. I think the coverage is actually 
really, really good. I was not expecting that. So I'm really pleased with that because like already I feel like I can do so many things on these trays and kind of fix them and have them looking pretty instead of the ugly color that they were earlier. So yeah, happy with that. And they do recommend two coats. So bear in mind, this is just the first coat. So you can build the color with this. So anyway, I'm going to leave this first coat to dry and we are going to move on to the next thing, which is the exciting bit for me. It's these oval ball type thingies. So for this one, I'm going with their gold mica powders. Once again, mixed in in the directions that they have mentioned. And did I mention even the pink I used was from the from their set? I would imagine you can use any mica powder, but I haven't tried that yet. So for now, I'm just using what was in their kit and I'm going with this gold one for now. And for this, I'm going to use their sponge applicator and I want to essentially coat the inside of these balls gold. So here goes. I am nervous because I love how these balls turned out. And also, if I forgot to mention earlier, I did give the bits where I added the glass a bit of a sand just to reveal some of that sparkle from that gold crushed glass. So that's me putting it on. And you guys, I am loving this like absolutely love that gold it looks kind of gilded on it looks like brushed gold i don't know it looks amazing and i like let me tell you it looks way better in person than it looks on camera like i hope even on the camera you can see how like luster gold vibe it has but it looks absolutely amazing and I'm all over the moon. Like this is the point where I have approved this product. I am like, yes, I like this. And Nicole Mould, you're watching. I am going to need a whole lot more of this stuff because I'm absolutely in love with this sealer. I mean, just the fact that you can use mica powders and coat something. I mean, you could like paint with it. You could, you know, you, there's so many things you can do with this. And yeah, love it love it so i'm just doing the second one here and i'm sorry you had to hear me get so excited about this but i am i really am like look at that calm down Shh, calm down calm down anyway so i'm gonna put these down this was a first coat they do recommend two coats so i'm gonna set these aside for now and let's go back to the white ball that we coated earlier i'm doing the second coat on this just once again just the clear sealer nothing added to it and once that dries we are ready to experiment some more with the sealer later okay so hear me out for the second part of this i want to try alcohol inks on this okay so now we all know that alcohol inks only work on a surface that is pretty slick and eco resins are generally porous and you know which is literally why we're trying to seal them so i want to see if this sealer is good enough of a sealer that my ink is not soaking into my bowl and I can actually create a water painting effect using alcohol inks. So here it goes. So I've just put down some alcohol. I've just rested this sideways on a, on a cup and I'm just adding some colors. And now these inks, I make them myself. And if you wanna know how I do that, let me know and I'll do a video on that. And what I'm doing is using this hand blower thingy i don't listen guys first of all i should have said this before i am not an expert on alcohol inks i've hardly ever used them in this way i love the effect it creates i have so many friends on instagram so many artists that primarily work with alcohol inks and they are so talented and i absolutely love them I personally have not spent a lot of time with them and so this is not a tutorial for that. I am just playing with the inks. Let's just put it like that. And also, like I said, I want to basically, I want to see if this works with this sealer because I feel like that opens a range of possibilities. So I'm using this hand blower thingy only because I only want to do like the bottom half of the bowl, if that makes sense. And so I want to have a bit more control with where I'm blowing and how much I'm blowing just because like I said I don't have a lot of practice with the alcohol inks and I'm using essentially like 
bluish tealy and purpley colors along with a little bit of gold and yeah so that's me playing with that and once I've done one side of the ball, I'm going to let that to kind of dry and then I'm going to just turn it over and do the next. And now that I'm doing it, I can tell you that this works. So ignore my skills when it comes to using alcohol inks, but can I just tell you that this sealer has sealed the surface enough for me to be able to use these inks on it because you know if you've tried using alcohol inks or any inks into any eco resin it is going to absorb right into it so this sealer definitely did a good job i did use two coats of the sealer on it as you saw which is what is recommended so yeah i'm really really pleased also if you haven't subscribed make sure you do that now make sure you click the bell notification and like comment do all of those things really really appreciate all of your support so what i did in the end is i went on and sprayed a varnish on the alcohol inks just to make sure those are set because again they can be activated again and i'm not using this sealer on that because it is water-based and i don't want to activate the ink so i'm just using a varnish to do that and that is me now just sticking on some feet or you know pads onto the bottom of my stuff and I'm ready to show you what they look like and can we can we please talk about these gold balls I mean stunning like absolutely stunning like I don't have words for that like that is my favorite thing about this project not that I not that I didn't enjoy my little alcohol ex experiment but this one over the moon absolutely love it and so this is the tray that we did savage in the end which i think looks pretty great and hopefully i will do something on top of this and you know be able to use it and this is my attempt at alcohol inks and again this looks absolutely stunning love it i think that's a success but let me know in the comments and if any of you are wondering what my plan is with these balls you're going to have to wait for my next video to see what I do with them. So stay tuned and I'll see you then. Bye.